Miss, if I say your name wrong, please excuse me. Amberia Smith. Miss Smith. Thank you, Bert. Mr. Ben, I apologize. Just we have a lot of speakers. Thank you, Miss Smith. Yes. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. Um, I was just reading on uh, what was said on the internet, and it was saying that the exercise it was just an exercise, but they're saying that it's a, a bus safe program, and it was random bag checks, canine sweeps, while sniffing dogs, and they were saying that. There were plainclothes officers, as well as uniform officers on the transit and the rail platform. I was just wondering if, um, how did the arrests occur if the people weren't ID'd? And I wanted to know, also, I figured this was a local police matter. Why were there federal assistance to the program? Wouldn't the police be able to handle this as they always First, maybe it makes sense to give just a 30-second of what exactly happened. I'm going to ask Chief Rodriguez to come forward chief. because I think that Thank he you. should... Can I have one more comment to state? Please do. Go ahead. And then while the chief walks up, please. Okay. You earlier stated that there was no authorization for bag checks. So why would the citizens be comfortable with them um, being at the transit and the platform if there was no control then at an the exercise? What makes us comfortable that there will be controlled exercise while they do, you know, the bag checks and everything. How do you keep them under local regulation if they're higher and on a federal level? Chief Rodriguez, recommended. Thank you. 